Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and we were lucky. Uh, the hurricane did not hit us directly, uh, but my heart goes out to those uh, south of Tampa or in that west, uh, southwest region of Florida who are without homes, businesses, power still. Uh, my, my prayers and thoughts go out to you. Today is a nice, beautiful day. Uh, the same nor'eastern that kind of pushed the hurricane away from my location brought us nice, cool weather, and that's actually good because while I don't like mining in the negative, I still mine in the negative. What I mean by that in the negative is against the fiat, right? I'm still earning the cryptocurrency, but I'm not earning the fiat, right? It's negative $5, $6, $7, $8, whatever, since the merge had happened. What I don't like is wasting electricity on cooling my house because my rigs, right? That's more electricity. Now that increases it to $10 a day, $11 a day, $12 a day, depending on how hot it is outside. So it's a nice cool day. Maintenance is done, gonna get the rigs back up and running. However, something just came in. I got a notification from DHL about it. So we're gonna open this guy up and see what it is. Now I have a feeling I know exactly what it is. Thank you, Jingle Mining, uh, for sending us over for us to test, get set up and everything. We're probably gonna set it up right next to the tent, trying to still allow for some decent airflow. Uh, but we'll see what the uh, stats are on this particular thing. Now it's from it's a jazz miner, obviously, not unless they tricked me and put something else in the box. So let me get this opened up and let's take a quick look. Before we continue, uh, you open up the box and I think you can figure out what it is by the title here. We got a little instruction manual QR code. Now the power cable they sent will not work for me. However, maybe somebody else could use it. Um, I got plenty of power cables, so I'm not worried about that. Then we got some handles here with screw sets. Ooh. That was a nice, nice metal, good grip handles. Um, and then obviously some more foam and you can see the handle poking out there and underneath, bum, 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 bum. Uh, yeah, the X4Q from Jazzminer. So let's get this opened up and set it out. Take a quick look at the setup. Do not be fooled by this thing. It's a tiny package, you know, compared to basically as long as the ASIC, just about. Very thin, or at least thinner than I would think compared to the ASIC. And this is a uh, M31S, by the way. Um, and it's heavy. It's actually pretty heavy. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and weigh it real quick and see what the weight is. 22.5 pounds. That's what this thing weighs. There's the power right there, on off switch, ethernet, everything we need. So I need to get an ethernet cable and a power cable, which again, I have plenty of in my garage. And then on the other side, just some more, um, you know, branding, nothing too crazy. Underneath, looks like you could put rubber feet on this thing. I don't think they would give you any. And then there's a ground point right there, which actually works out really well. I could hook that up to my GN mod mat. Nice. Um, or I could hook that up to the same outlet that the GN mod mat is on. Now here are the screws to take off this side panel. I don't believe there are any on the bottom. No, there is one right there in the front left. Okay, so one front left, two, three, four, five. Five screws take off this panel. Let me go ahead and do that now. With those five screws out of the way, we can now slide this back just like a normal computer chassis and make way for another box, which obviously looks very ASIC-like. There's the boards right there. You can see the boards, okay. I see a choke, R15, R15. What we got in here is some power. Come on, focus, focus. All right, some capacitors. I'm gonna put you guys in there. You guys are gonna go in. I can't see it, so you guys tell me what you see. All right, okay. And same thing down here. Interesting, interesting. Nothing but fins for airflow, power. Uh, 
that's got to be that big lump that you see right there. It's got to be a way for it to read it, kind of like our power meters to read the power draw and everything. Uh, communication board for up front or LEDs connected to this customized board as well. And we saw this earlier when uh, some other people provided pictures or video information. Very interesting. That looks like a USB 3.0 type header down there. I don't think it is though. Very interesting. Power supply is 600 watt power supply, I want to say. Very, very simple machine. Very heavy. Very heavy. I mean, this is like, this is straight up steel. I'm not sure what happened here. Something got scratched there. I don't see any scratches on the panel. So that maybe that must have been during manufacturing. The fans are very tiny. I wonder if we could replace the fans. I mean, they got rubber. Sorry, you couldn't see. Rubber stop dampers to dampen the noise. But they're very thin uh, as far as fans go. 120 mil. I wonder if you could replace those. Of course, getting to everything is going to be a little bit cumbersome. Looks like everything is clipped in there. We've got a screw right down there. Another one right there. Another one right there. Oh, there's some more. So six. Come on, baby, focus. Six of them, top and bottom, three on each one, and then obviously the fans. You disconnect these four, those six, and then obviously disconnect the cables right into the box. And technically you should be able to pull this whole unit out, maybe replace the fans, because it does look like we can put more fans in here. I'm not sure how we would power those fans because we don't have a, a way to tie in. Maybe we can add a splitter right here as some type and put two more fans back here because two regular 120 mils back here and then two regular up here uh, would make this thing very high flow efficient but i think they're the overall design is simple and gets the job done which is what jingle mining and uh, excuse me jazz miner were hoping to do uh, because they want to keep the noise output low but still get the hashes up this thing should be over a thousand mega hash on an ETH hash token or ETC hash, uh, but we'll see about that in a future video. For now, that is going to do it. We just wanted to take a quick look. Now that it's nice and cool, let's kick everything back on. Uh, plans for the ASIC coming soon, stay tuned. Uh, and when I say soon, it's gonna be a minute, just bear with me. GPUs, get that back on, hook up this bad boy, and then we'll come back and show you an update on that in a future video. For now, do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out, make sure to get subscribed. Make sure to go thank Jingle Mining for supporting the channel and allowing us to uh, test and play around with this Jazz Miner. And uh, hit the like button on the way out, like I already said. Uh, <laughs> hit the subscribe notification bell. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Check out links in the description to help support the sponsor to support us. Take care.